Hi, Simone. Hi, Josiah. Hi, Ellie. I got a new book. It's called A Moth is Born. There's pictures. There's the egg. Then it turns into a caterpillar. Then a cocoon. Then a butterfly. This book is called A Moth is Born by Herbert B. Walker, illustrated by Dodig. A beautiful giant silk moth settled on a green leaf of an apple tree and laid a tiny egg. There it is, right there. A very small caterpillar began to grow inside the egg. It found plenty to eat there as the egg contained a tasty liquid. In the warm weather, the egg soon hatched. Out of it came a funny looking caterpillar, which at once started eating the leaf of the apple tree. Its mother had laid the egg there because she knew her baby would like the apple tree leaf. The little caterpillar ate and ate the leaves of the apple tree and other fruit trees and kept getting too big for its skin. Several times it had to shed or get rid of its skin so it could grow some more. In time, it became a big, bright green caterpillar. It had strong jaws, six legs, and a horn at the back of its body. It had brightly colored little knobs on its head. During the lazy summer days, the caterpillar moved about slowly, finding plenty to eat. It seemed to enjoy life as a creature without wings and unworried about not being able to fly. But winter was coming and the caterpillar began to pre pre prepare for it. It began to weave a little home for itself on a twig. It spun silk thread around after silk thread and began to cover itself with a hard gray brown cocoon. See it there? Winter arrived and bitter winds blew and rains and snow fell. Snug and safe inside its cocoon, the caterpillar hardly seemed to be alive. Yet strange things were happening. It was changing, little by little. Finally, spring came, and the apple trees, maples, the wild cherries, and the elms put out their leaves. All nature came to life. The flowers budded, the grass grew, and it was time for the creature inside the cocoon to come out into the world again. Soon it came forth, this time in a beautiful and glorious way. At first it appeared as a big wrinkled creature, but not for long. It stretched and stretched until soon what was once the green caterpillar now changed into a lovely giant silk moth with brightly colored wings about as big as this picture. And it could fly. And that's the end of the story. I love you guys. I hope you liked that.